First thing I need for brownie pudding is four eggs and two cups of sugar. Can't make brownie pudding without eggs and sugar. You know how the old cliche goes, the way to a man's heart. Here we are 40 years later. When I was 16 and Jeffrey was 18, I used to make him brownies and send them in a big box to school. I think he was the most popular guy in the dorm when they arrived. So I think brownie pudding is very romantic for our anniversary. 40 years, yikes. Okay, two cups of sugar. Okay, so beat these together. Okay, so the next thing I need is cocoa powder and flour. So first I need three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. Okay, that's a half and a quarter. Use really good cocoa powder. Half a cup of flour. And just sift those together. This is really more like a something between a brownie and a pudding. It's very sort of like a molten thing in the middle. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside while I put the vanilla in. So I've got one vanilla bean, just like that. Love the smell of vanilla, it's my favorite. I'm just gonna snip off the end and then run my knife right down the middle and scrape out the seeds. And just put them right into the mix. Actually, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. It's amazing. It's so thick and light yellow. And when it comes off the beater in a ribbon, it's just like that. It's always like one ingredient in a dish that you really can't quite taste, but it makes everything else taste better. And in this one, it's one tablespoon of framboise. It's raspberry liqueur. I'm just gonna put it on very low speed and just slowly add the dry ingredients. I don't wanna make any lumps. So the key about baking this brownie pudding is that it's sort of molten in the middle and it's baked on the outside, so everybody gets a little of each. Mm, this smells so delicious. It smells so chocolatey. Fantastic. Okay, the next ingredient is butter. Now don't start with me, you can't make brownies without butter. I've melted two sticks of butter and let them cool a little bit. I'm just gonna pour it right in. Anybody who tries to make brownies without butter should be arrested. And for brownie pudding, it makes it very wet and delicious. Perfect. Okay, that's ready. Just put that into a baking dish. I've got a nine by 12 pan that I've already buttered. Any similar size will work for this. Mm. Does that look chocolatey or what? So I'm gonna smooth it out and then I'm gonna bake it in a water bath and that's gonna make sure that it bakes really evenly. What makes me think I could just serve it like this and Jeffrey would be very happy? Okay, very hot tap water. This is such a great dessert to make ahead. So you can bake it and just leave it on the counter. Okay, I'm gonna bake this 325 degrees for exactly one hour. And it's gonna be sort of baked on the outside and like pudding on the inside.